Ty Tryon became the youngest player ever to qualify for the PGA Tour, earning his tour card at the age of 17 by finishing in a tie for 23rd at the PGA Tour Qualifying School in 2001. Born William Tryon, he was nicknamed Ty by his father Bill after the Caddyshack character Ty Webb, made famous by Chevy Chase. He has two younger brothers and a sister, and he lives in Orlando, Florida. What Ty Tryon lacks in age, he more than makes up for with his playing skills. He's super accurate with his approach shots, so you'd better load up on the birdies to get past him. This is the way to keep the ball in play. On the team from Orlando, Florida, Ty Tryon. This looks good, should be safely on the green. They can't all be highlights. This one's at least on and it's respectable. This one's in good shape. For birdie. This putt to have the hole. Well done. This is the second longest par three, but it plays slightly downhill. The two-tiered green is well protected by bunkers in front for those who aren't ready for their long irons or didn't read the wind correctly. This one's found the beach. With the two on. Flirted with it, caught the bunker, but shouldn't have much trouble advancing the ball from here. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. This one's pretty stock here. Put a good stroke on it, got a good chance of making it. So close. This to have the hole. Gets his part.
The third hole is a par four that makes a dog leg left around the largest lake on the course, and it requires a careful tee shot. Players must know where to place their drives in order to set up the approach to a green that sits at water's edge over a natural rock wall. This should be in perfect shape. Looks like a nine iron. This one may miss to the right. David Ferdy, your take on this one? Well, you can take this one to the bank, a good stroke, and this one can be made. Makes his par. David, give me a read here. I'm having trouble with this one. Okay, it'll go ever so slightly to the right, I believe. Just hang it out on the left edge, and it'll be fine. Looking good. She's up by two now. Hit it straight. Going with the driver here, chance to get it close. Tell us what you have, David. A little over 200 yards, maybe closer to 215. In good position here to drop this one for Eagle on the par five. In the cup for an Eagle. Your favorite kind of bird. Here's the Eagle trophy ball.
Number five is the shortest par four on the front nine, but the premium is on an accurate short iron approach to a lowered green. You must play a careful tee shot in order to avoid the bunkers scattered on each side of a narrow landing area. I think he's going to like the result here. Ah, you've got to love that. That's fantastic. Nothing wrong with this approach. For a third consecutive birdie. Quite sure that that's what uh, we have in mind here. Nice putt for birdie. The sixth hole is always a topic of conversation. This par five curls around the lake that players first saw at the third hole. The hole produces some eagles, a few birdies, and some scores that more resemble telephone numbers. This is the last thing she wanted. Heading for the water. That's the driver. He'll get all he wants and a bit more when he plays out of this stuff. He's in it deep. Might be taking a chance here with a two iron. Should be in good shape here. Good. Headed for the green. was in. Converts his part. The 
seventh hole is the shortest par three at Bay Hill, but that hardly provides much relief. Most players will take a mid iron into a slightly uphill par three, and the large green offers a variety of pin positions beyond the bunkers that lurk in front of this green. He's got this going right at it. Well, whatever club that was, it was the right one. What a shot. Capitalize here with a birdie. This looks really good. This will have the hole. Found the hole for a nice birdie there. Number eight is a tough dogleg right with a bunker on the left side. A grove of trees forces your tee shot to the left into a landing area shaped like a saddle. The approach is over a small lake to a green that slopes to the right of the water's edge. This looks like a beauty. It's right at the flag. Couldn't have planned it any better. David, what's the yardage here? I want to say it's about 120 yards to the hole. This one's fine to green. Just burns the edge. Routine pump. She's two up now, seems to be in control. The ninth hole is the longest of the par fours at Bay Hill. Another dog leg left. It requires a long iron or fairway wood to a large, well-guarded green framed by mounds in the back. Players should take their par, hurry to the back nine, and don't look back. It's getting rough out there. That's poison ivy over there amongst uh, other things. All kinds of stuff. You have to check yourself for ticks. It's too bad. But I think this is heading for the rough. Just an 
old-fashioned punch shot here, Gary. This one is headed towards the left side of the green. Jerk this one a bit, into the long grass. Try on for bogey. There are worse things than a bogey here. I just can't think of what one might be at this moment. This putt's for par. That wins the hole. Long hitters on this par four will take their tee shots over a series of bunkers in the elbow of the dog leg right to set up a short iron into a big green. This is a birdie opportunity. Watch out. This one's heading for the cattle feed. This will end up in the green. That's fantastic. This for Birdie. Rolls in the Birdie putt. Number 11 is similar in design to the third hole. The only difference on this par four is a slightly more open target area off the tee. The green sets fairly low at the edge of the lake, which makes for some tough pin positions. But like number three, it's another birdie chance. This one hard left. I'm not sure where it'll land. That's got a chance, right at the flag stick. David Faraday? About 20 to the hole here. No, 
Just a pitching wedge from here. A birdie will help here. It usually does. Ooh, that was close. Players can step on the gas in this par 512. Even though the landing area for the drives is hidden from the tee by an elevated bunker and a slight dog leg right, the layup shot sets up an approach with a wedge or a sand iron. The green is heavily protected by bunkers to ward off any thought of running the second shot up onto the putting surface. on the bunker. Now that's close, really close. That ball's got eyes, and it's homing in right on the target. This one will end up on the putting surface. This for three straight birdies. happy to get out of here with a car. You one of those new putters that looks like you can get FM. Converts his car. The 13th is an unusual hole. The demand is placed on the short iron approach to the wide, narrow green. A lake that will surely catch any misfires fronts the putting surface. the looks of this one. It's just fine.
This one's going to be very close to the water. That will be damp, I think, at the very best. Don't be surprised if this one is moist. Tell us what you have here, David. Oh, he's okay. Just trickled off the short grass. Not bad at all. I can feel the pressure. This for the match. <laughs> <laughs> 